So Anita Sarkeesian is most known for Tropes vs. Women in video game series. I decided that I would make a video commenting on some of her lesser known videos um, that she had out long before she started this whole thing against video games, when she was just batshit crazy on feminism. So I decided to start with the video Retro Sexism and Uber ironic advertising. Or what about the good old wandering-eyed, lying husband and naive wife tropes? What are you looking at? <laughs> Need a moment? Try the chocolate caramel and fresh cookie crunch of Twix. I'm looking at potential babysitters. So we could spend more time together. Wow, I actually agree. That is sexist. I mean, it makes the man look like a complete fucking jerks. See how obviously and transparently he's lying to his wife? We all recognize that this is ridiculous. This guy is clearly being a jerk, and we get to laugh at that. Crap, I didn't actually think I would agree with Anita on anything. What the fuck? But we have the added bonus of being able to laugh at his naive wife. Ah, crap. Here comes the crazy. Who is clearly not seeing his transparent behavior. So it's not sexist to make the man look like a fucking jerk because men are all fucking jerks. But no, when you make a woman look stupid, that's when it becomes sexist in her mind. Additionally, the advertisers get to use pseudo porn stars in a male fantasy sequence, so the audience gets to join the man in ogling the women. Doesn't she realize this doesn't make any of them look good at all? I mean, you have the guy who's a fucking jerk, you got the girlfriend who's a fucking idiot, and you got these three random girls having a pillow fight looking like a fucking sorority house. None of them look good. It's not sexist against anyone in particular. It's a very sexualized commercial, yeah, but that doesn't mean it's sexist against any particular sex. It's not. It just isn't. And for another example of the naive girlfriend. All right, well, her last example is pretty stupid, but I'm going to give her I'm gonna give her the benefit oh, of the doubt. Let's wow. see how this one is. Let's I'm see how it is. Let's see how it goes. That was Brad. He really wants to vent. We should go. Ready to vent. That's fair. Let's vent. Let's vent. Introducing the vented wide mouth can from Coors Light. It lets in air for a smooth, refreshing pour. Is he okay? I think we'll be venting a little longer. So you see, they know that I know that they know. Women are supposed to laugh at how stupid this girlfriend is while being secure in the knowledge that they'll never make the same mistake. I don't think she realizes that they have these same types of commercials making men look like they're fucking idiots and stupid too in the same exact way. Wow. He's like a deer in headlights. He doesn't really think if he stares long enough, new food will magically appear, does he? And they need a woman to come in there and show them how to do it correctly. Where does he get that from? I, I don't see how she can see things so one-sided. It it's ridiculous how stupid she is. This commercial is set up so that women are laughing at caricatured sexist representations of other women. Wait a minute, you know, this sounds very, very familiar. I think maybe in one of the earlier commercials she showed, they did that exact same thing. Except it's about men. <laughs> what a coincidence. Let's go take a look at that. Where they're attempting to rebrand their product as a more manly drink and a less girly drink. Can you believe some guys have never tried Mike's Hard Lemonade because they've seen women drink it? <laughs> we don't have those kinds of oh, issues. Oh, men don't want to drink anything that's seen as being girly because they want to be a man. That's why. Oh, yeah. That's what it's set up to represent. Just a fucking character of the male psyche. Yeah, they just want to pick up girls, and we're supposed to laugh at them. See how he's not even pretending to fool us? Like, we're all in on this big joke. Look how funny it is that he's incompetently and obviously trying to take advantage of these women. Yeah, by being a male stereotype. That's exactly how he's going to do it, by being a character for other men to laugh at. Wait, wasn't she getting mad at people for doing that to women? Now she's saying, oh, it's okay for do it to men? What the fuck is her problem? This next one not only manages to be sexist, but also racist at the same time. When a guy can't get his wahine to put some halakaheki all over his moa'u. Then he's gotta go someplace else. Not only is this exotifying and sexualizing Hawaiian culture, but she's literally a thing. This brings a whole new meaning to objectifying. And men are just never objectified in commercials ever. Wait, wait, wait. What's this coming up here? Hmm. <gasps> Yeah, I don't know if they ever objectify men in commercials ever. I mean, that just, that just never happens. It's just such a women's issue, you know? It's just, wait, what, why is he, why is he acting like a fucking robot? He's like an object or something. Oh, wait, 
They're objectifying him. What the fuck? Carl's Jr. is infamous for uber ironic sexism in their commercials. Remember this one? Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer. Oh no, it's a woman in a bikini eating a burger. Oh, oh, oh. Yet somehow women aren't up in arms. They aren't organizing protests and boycotts and online campaigns. Yeah, I don't know. Where are all those women protesting? <laughs> Gee, yeah, I'm still looking. I can't find them. I don't know where they are. Wait, 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 I, I, wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, here they are. They're right here. Yeah. I'm reading <laughs> the face <laughs> with the camera. camera. I'm trying to fucking, I'm letting everybody else hear it, okay? It's not just for you, Mr. Entitled. Anyways, enough of this crazy protester let's go back to anita's video advertisers must believe that the use of irony distances themselves from male chauvinism but that isn't the case while we think we're in on the joke the reality is they aren't making fun of or pointing out sexism they're doing it you know i watched those same ads that anita showed and they're more sexist against men than women if anything but the point is it doesn't fucking matter it None of this stuff matters. None of the stuff in this video should fucking matter. What matters is that this fucking crazy woman is out there getting all these supporters to just completely fuck over society and make it so that you can't do anything. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's a fucking fascist state. That's what they're turning into. That's why they call them feminazis, because they just want to control the whole world and it has to cater to their little fucking narrow viewpoint. No matter what you put out there, they're going to find a way to make it sexist against women. If there's no women, it's, it's sexist for not having women. If it's all women, it's it's over-sexualizing women. It's doing this. It's it's only showing women. But no matter what people do, it's going to be sexist in these people's minds. I don't see why anyone should listen to them and take them seriously at all. And that's how people should really look at this. They should just be seen as a comedy act. Just laugh at them. They're fucking stupid. And if you believe in this... I, Honestly, I don't know why you would. If you guys like this video, give it a like, share it, do all that shit, comment, whatever the fuck you want to do. Do all that shit. I'd appreciate it.